Today, we will discuss the Z-10 attack helicopter introduced by the Chinese Army in the late 2010s. The Z-10 project started in the early 2000s with the production and testing of three Z-10 prototypes by the Chang'e aviation industry, followed by eight more prototypes and pre-production versions. One noticeable difference between the Z-10 and Apache is their size and weight. The Z-10 weighs 7 tons, while the Apache weighs 10 tons. The Z-10's configuration adopts the common Western attack helicopter model, but with the pilot seated in the front, unlike the Apache where the pilot sits in the back. The two cabins are separated by bulletproof materials, so if hit by enemy fire, only one crew member will be impacted. The Z-10 is equipped with a pair of wings serving as the bases of pylons. It features a five-bladed main rotor similar to Eurocopter's design. The difference is that the propeller rotates clockwise, unlike the Western design, which generally rotates counterclockwise. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss updates on military videos and other interesting technological developments. The engine becomes a major issue in the Z-10 prototypes, using the PT-6, C-76, CWZ engine from Pratt and Whitney Canada. However, due to restrictions from the United States, China developed the WZ-9 turboshaft engine, which eventually succeeded. This engine increases thrust, although sacrifices had to be made in equipment and capacity to reduce the helicopter's weight. The advanced sensor suite was cut from this project and replaced by a simpler suite. However, with the introduction of the upgraded WZ-9C engine, additional equipment such as composite armor and infrared suppression systems were added to the Z-10. The estimated WZ-10 engine, soon to be adopted, has a maximum power output of 1,600 kilowatts and can even reach 2,000 kilowatts for a short period. This will make the Z-10 a larger helicopter, approaching 8 to 9 tons, similar to the size of the Apache. The Z-10's sensor suite includes two independent rotating turrets, one for the pilot and one for the gunner. Although the production Z-10 has a simpler sensor turret, it still includes an infrared thermal imager, a laser rangefinder, an illuminator, and a TV camera. Z-10 is equipped with advanced avionics and a glass cockpit. Z-10 crew members have received two generations of installed helmet targeting systems. These helmets allow direct control of weapons, rockets, and missiles. Although initially having limited self-defense suites, Z-10 was later reinforced with electronic warning, optical warning, jammer, and flare chaff dispenser. The Z-10 weapon turret is equipped with a Chinese 23mm gas-operated cannon. Its pylons can carry rockets, bombs, and missiles, with the main AKD-10 missile capable of defeating heavily armored tanks with semi-active laser guidance. Z-10 can also carry AKD-9 missiles for air-to-air -air combat, which is a world first for attack helicopters. These missiles are equipped with infrared trackers and digital signal processors to overcome infrared countermeasures. In the Z-10ME export variant, the engine has been upgraded to the enhanced WZ-9 turbo shaft, improving flight performance at high altitudes. Additionally, the addition of armor, missile warning sensors, electronic warfare systems, and additional ammunition storage space provides greater durability and combat capabilities. Z-10 has now become a key element in the newly established Chinese Army Air Assault Brigade, accompanying the Z-8 and Z-18 utility helicopters to form the spearhead of the Chinese Army's Rapid Reaction Forces.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss updates on military videos and other interesting technological developments.